We begin right now with some breaking news from Alaska Airlines. Effective immediately, masks will now be optional for customers. In a statement, the airline said masks will be optional on all Alaska aircraft effective immediately. This all is following today's ruling by a federal judge in Florida that the CDC overstepped its authority by imposing the mandate in the first place. Now again, effective immediately, masks no longer required at U.S. airports or on any flight operated by Alaska Airlines. We are also hearing reports of other airlines quickly starting to follow suit, so we are continuing to track this development. We'll have more coming up at 430. In the meantime, representatives at Southwest and Delta are reporting passenger levels are getting closer to pre-pandemic levels, while staffing is not. And that's because thousands of pilots retired either by choice or by reaching the mandatory retirement age of 65. Now, nearly two years of putting travel on hold because of the pandemic, many people say they're ready to get back out there and start traveling again. But multiple factors like pilot burnout and staffing shortages mean more flight delays and cancellations. So our sister station out of Seattle visited SeaTac to find out how these delays are impacting customers and airport staff across the Northwest. No matter where you're going. Definitely really busy. Or where you're coming from. It's a little hectic. Um, it's completely full most of the time. Flying right now requires people pack an extra level of patience. We were delayed leaving and kind of delayed coming back with other flights getting delayed and things like that. So I think it's just people are back flying again. Airlines are working to catch up following high demand. CNBC reports people spent $8.8 .8 billion on domestic flights in March alone and bookings are up 12%. But staffing at airlines is down, including a shortage of pilots. Tuesday at SeaTac, Delta Airline pilots are expected to picket and demand improvements in scheduling following what the Airline Pilots Association calls a rise in pilot fatigue. I was watching the flights and making sure that our flight for like the days before was still going. Carly and Whitney flew Alaska Airlines to and from Palm Springs. Because of that pilot shortage, the airline recently announced it's cutting and canceling flights. It was a little stressful, like wondering if our flight was going to get canceled and we wouldn't know when. Demand is also driving up prices. It was pretty pricey. Melee bought a ticket to fly Fresno to Seattle to visit her sister. It was about maybe 1110 which is weird because <laughs> I'm used to seeing it like at least $500. A flight that wasn't direct, but she said it was the most affordable option. So I went to um, Fresno to um, Phoenix, Phoenix to San Jose, and then San Jose to um, Seattle. After two years of lockdown, people making travel a priority. I really care about more so family time. You know, um, so if it meant a lot to my sister being here too, you know, and then it was on my bucket list. Now, as you may have heard, some of the pilots with Delta Airlines say they will be picketing at SeaTac tomorrow. Those pilots say they want the company to fix how it schedules pilots, especially for long flights. In response, a Delta spokesperson said this exercise by some of our off-duty pilots will not disrupt our operations for customers. This comes weeks after dozens of Alaska Airlines pilots also picketed, demanding flexible scheduling, higher pay and job security.